Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over two different brands of Universal Magazine pouches, both the pistol pouches and rifle pouches. Um, let's start off with here on the left we have Taco Mags made by High Speed Gear. A lot of people are going to be pretty familiar with these. These have been around for a very long time. I've got their Gen 1s and their Gen 2s. Gen 1s, they're made out of Cordura feels like plastic sides on it, plastic base, and they come and attach with these malice clips. I am not a fan of malice clips. Um, I think they give you a very flimsy ride. Um, they're very, very soft as you can see. Uh, they're, I mean, they're great if all you're going to connect to is Molly, but if you're trying to do anything else, um, I'd even argue that there's better uh, options out there than this if you're going to be attaching onto a molly pack or a combat belt. Of the three that we're going to see here, these are probably my favorite. Um, just in feel, uh, their retention versus releaseability and all that. The biggest detractor that I have seen or that I have on these is that this is the backside where you're going to put your mounting, you're limited to things that can mount into molly. Uh, there's no other options in there unless you want to try and drill tap nut something your own things um, So one pad one hook there you can see It's right there. It is fairly tight I'm not gonna fight it right now on camera, but that would be how to hook that on um, They've got them on the front as well You can actually run these in tandem um, You can run them in tandem with the rifle uh, I've got a they actually will sell them that way. So this is a double rifle You can see it's got a plastic divider in between the two rifle mags with a pistol attached and they attach them on there with the bungee cords um, So that's how these work. They utilize these bungee cords to provide the tension side tension and Tension on the faces as well um, they work very well. Uh, I will admit I was very skeptical the first time I saw somebody with one. I believe it was actually at a three gun match. And then it's exactly the same thing on the rifle mags. Now, high speed gear lists these as rifle and pistol. Um, and I, announced, I said earlier that they were universal. That is very, very true. Um, especially on the pistols. I've heard of guys getting AR-10 mags, FAL mags into these. I think the might be a little tight. Um, definitely not going to have any quick draws out of something like that. But for AR-15s, absolutely phenomenal. Um, we'll start with this one. I just want to show you guys kind of how they operate. This is a loaded mag so that I can show you guys weight. Um, slides right in. right, And that is in there. I'm not squeezing it. It's in there. Um, slides right out. Minimal effort. Um, now I'm assuming if you were going to try and do, you know, gymnastics, handstands, uh, things like that, it's probably going to drop your mag. It, it, let's be honest. But I don't see. I've shot a lot of three gun. I've shot from some very odd positions, and I cannot think of a single time where I have done anything um, that includes jumping to prone. Um, you know, shooting semi upside down in order to get, you know, underneath of something without going all the way to the ground. I can't think of any time where I would have lost a mag out of something like this. This holds just as well um, as what I'm currently running, some of my Kydex stuff. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this. So that's a polymer, that's a Gen 2 P mag. Um, Steel mag, I don't remember the manufacturer, but it's not one of the nifty Teflon coated ones. A um, little bit slicker. Uh, it, it, it is a little bit easier to, uh, to pull out that might slide on you. Yeah. Um, but again, I think that that's for most people's use. Um, that's going to do you just fine. Um, this one attaches on the back, same setup. It's gonna come with two of the malice clips and they're gonna slide just in there like so underneath all of them, however you wanna set it up. Uh, Molly. 
on the pistol side of the house, you'll see I've got somewhat of an assortment and I'm gonna use these same mags for all of them so that you can see uh, what, it, what it does like, what it doesn't like. Uh, so let's start with the smallest, right? Single stack 45 out of my 1911. And this takes it just fine. Not any slicker than you'd expect cloth to be on steel, but there you go. Finally made it budge, but it's super quick and easy to get out. Um, cake. Next one up, this is a 20 round mag, well, 18 round mag with a 20, the plus two base plate from a Canik TP9 SFX. Uh, it's actually my roommate's competition gun. And you can see, even though this one is now a double stack, handles that just fine. No problems. Oh, comes out of there. A little bit more. You can see I it stretched the, I'm trying to show you with the band, stretch the band a little bit more, but not bad at all. Up next size wise is probably going to be kind of a toss up. So I'm going to stick with nine mil. Um, this is a P18 mag for my Rock Island 2011. I did a video on that and my STI uh, previously. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead. And this is a little comparison. Um, it takes these just fine. And these are some hefty mags. Um, I got fairly large hands. I'm six foot three. Um, and you can see that's just about a little bit narrower than my thumb. Um, I'd show you something a little bit more narrow, but they don't allow me to put that on Facebook. So anyway, holds it just fine, releases it just fine. 45 mag from my XDM 45. You can see there's a there's a theme here. That one was a little bit harder to get to go in, but once it's in, runs it just fine. And then the big boss, my STI mag. A lot of a lot of mag pouches that they say will work for just about everything have a real hang up on these STI mags. No problem at all. All right, so that's the Gen ones, the cloths. I love them to death. Absolutely phenomenal. Next, we're going to move on to the Gen twos. These are their polymer polymer mags operate the same way running the bungee cords still use malice clips big difference here though these ones are have screw points in them and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it to where you can see it yes I will and see there's a nut in there that means that you can mount this to anything that has screw points um, several companies make attachments belt attachments and all that this opens you up on options quite a bit um, things I like on this, they're, they're very solid. They're very durable. Um, I do not like, oh, and you still have your, your Molly mount if you want it. Things I do not like about them. Um, they're a little shiny. I don't know if this is going to show up, but you can definitely see a difference. No shine, a little bit of shine here. This whole thing is shiny. Um, not the biggest fan of that. Let's see how it handles 1911 mag. I got a little bit of side to side room in there. I hope you can hear that. It doesn't hold it quite as tight as the cloth one, um, but still pretty good retention on it um, just from the sides. Nine mil canic mag, fine. Nine mil. Uh, P18 mag tight now we're getting into that the plastic writing on the steel with some of these wider frames that's pretty tight not un unusable by any means and nothing I would say would even hold me up in a, in a competition at all um, but still that was actually less out of the 45 mag and then the STI fine so actually the P18 uh, held on to that the most. So that is the pistol mag. And then the rifle mag, same thing, polymer, same thing, shiny. Uh, mounting points on it. This one looks like it's patterned for just about everything. Let's see if I can get in there. There we go. 
A lot of options, a lot of mounting options on there. I absolutely love that about this. If they could come out with this, with just the back face of that, I'd be static. That would that would be awesome. I anticipate this is going to be a little bit harder. Oh yeah, this is definitely a stronger retention on it. Um, to compare, since I didn't use the bungee cord on this last time. So if retention is your fear, this one's it. Um, this thing definitely holds on to them a lot tighter. And same, I can already tell with the metal mag. If you're running metal mags, this may be an option you want to go to and just figure out how you want to deal with that reflection, whether you want to try coating it with something. I imagine a, cr a, a nice little light spray of some matte Krylon would actually do this thing wonders um, and fix almost every complaint that I have on it. Um, Cause all in all, absolutely phenomenal. Um, really like that. Hate that they come with these, but really, really like all of these mounting options that you're going to find yourself having in there. Um, I like these. Still though, I got to go with the, uh, the cloth ones have it for me. Um, also on these, mounting them up, you can almost do yourself because you'll see with the pistol having those mount holes, you can mount them up. Just made the things up. Call it a day. All right. Now we're going to move on to the third brand or the second brand, third option, um, at least of the ones that I have. These are called Ido Gear, I D O G E A R. Um, they're the Ido Gear Tactical Magazine Pouch Airsoft Hunting Shooting Molly Fast Mag, blah, 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 blah. All right, they're mag pouches. Um, made by Idogear. Obviously they're using a similar concept. You can see there's a little bit of a different system on how they're running their bungees through it. And for whatever reason, mine, I don't know if you, it's going to show up, have this weird, on the pistol mag only, the rifle mag doesn't have this, and this weird bluish tinge, hue, to this part of it. Um, so what's going on here? The main outer body, on the face and the back and the bottom, is a soft rubbery material. Not really sure what it is. It's, it's not quite as pliable as actual rubber. Some sort of poly, I'm assuming. Um, this shiny bit um, is a harder plastic, although not super hard. It's got quite a bit of give to it, as you can see here. It's got some flex. It's got actually quite a bit of flex. Um, bungees running through, tightening. Now, I don't know if you'd still call these malice clips, um, but I like these a lot more. I actually have one that's off over here. Um, so this has a locking system like this. So here's how these ones lock. Unlock anyway, push these together, pop that, and then it's open. On a malice, true malice clip, slide through, press that down around the little nub, and that's closed. Another thing, on the mouse clip, you see how flexible that is. On these, oh, I'm afraid of breaking it because it's hard. That's that's quite a bit of pressure. That's as much as I want to give it without having to worry about actually snapping it. Another thing too, mouse clips, it's just a strip of plastic, right? That's, that's all it is with a crease in the middle. Um, these have almost like belt loop retainers on it. I'm sure that's what that's actually for or to hook onto the molly on it. Um, you can bolt it on, which is how, or screw it on rather, which is how they are attached on here. Again, it's stiff this way too. You don't got a whole lot of flexibility, which is why they've cut through these screws. And then you can also see that again, this little harder rubber bit on the back is actually brass threaded. So how does it retain? This system, I thought when I first was handling them with the mounting system, it actually comes with an actual belt hookup, you know, and it, with, I mean, it's awesome. It's accessories are phenomenal. Extra screws come with it. 
that's not the right one. Some extra screws come with it. It's great. I thought I was going to love it. And then I put some mags in it. Show you what I mean. This pistol mag made for double stacks as well as single stacks. This is not specific. I would show you, but YouTube gets angry about me showing that stuff, um, as I'm sure you've heard from a lot of people. But they even show in the picture on Amazon where I picked them up a double stack 9mm. Here's what I'm talking about. 1911 mag. See the amount of effort? I don't know if I could do this with a single finger, but I'm going to try. There we go. Watch the sprungy. This is going to hurt. No, nope, didn't hurt. That's on my thinnest magazine. Now, given it is a sheer face, and this is, like I said, a, a rubbery, soft, almost sticky, um, whatever it is. Um, but it doesn't bode well. So, Canic Mag. Uh, God, that one did hurt. Um, yeah. You can imagine it's going to keep going. I'm just going to step it right up and go to the biggest. Uh, and yeah, that's that's it. The rifle mag, same setup. Double mounting, just like that, just like that, right? Same setup. You can see this one's even especially set up uh, to run on a belt attachment. Not that one. Um, so let's see how this one holds. Same thing, soft. It doesn't have that weird hue, and it has this hard molly looking attachment on the front. I guess you could run something on there. I'm sure you, I'm sure you figured out. You can figure something out. Um, Gen 2 polymer mag. In there pretty easy. Out of there pretty easy. Again. It looked like this stretched a whole lot. Um, it didn't. Well, it did, but it didn't feel like it. It didn't feel hard to do. And again, this is a full mag loaded to capacity 30 rounds. It's retaining, and it comes out. Those are the two things that I at least look for when I'm looking at a mag pouch. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, running a steel body or aluminum body, whatever this is, I don't remember. It holds on quite a bit tighter. Again, though, not unreasonable. And again, retention is good. How would I rank these out? The winner in both, I gotta give to the old cloth. Um, again, these are just my opinions on these. Some people may have different experiences, but it's real close on these two. And actually, I'm gonna give it, mainly because of this mounting system. I like the retention on this one. I like the feel of it. I like how it releases. I really like the fact that I've got optional mounting that isn't molly. Second, close second, second. After that, on the rifle end, is gonna come the hard taco mag. Hard taco mag is gonna come in second on pistol for me. Ran fine. I don't like the shininess of it. However, I do like the optional mounting plates. And then last is going to be the Ido mag, purely because it just retains too hard. It's too hard for anything I would ever use it for. Uh -oh. However, I will be seeing if I can get these off and run these on these. So that's probably going to happen. Anyway, guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know, toss a like if there's anything that uh, you'd like to see me do in the future. Hit me up in the comments. I'd be glad to accommodate you if I can. If I can't, I can find out how much it's gonna take to get it to happen. Uh, until next time, have a great day.